Hey everyone, my name is Danilo Petrovic. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kuda. I'm Evgeny Donskoy. I'm Henry Laksan. I'm Peter Torepko, and, and you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Welcome back once more, tennis fans. Here we are, and this time it's the women's draw for the Australian Open. And uh, we had the men's earlier. We went through some exciting first round matchups, and uh, hopefully, it's going to be the same in the women's first round because we're going to be taking you through all of the first round matches and showing you our routes to the final and our selections, predictions, reactions, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, should be good, mate. Uh, we did the men's earlier. I'm quite happy with my selections, really, for that. And I like the way we sort of did the podcast. I thought it was quite good. We sort of covered it all from all angles. So That's that means we've got to do it the same again today for the women. Yes. Um, I don't know why you're that on that side. Let me change that. Puts me off a bit. Go on then, mate. There we go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I don't like being on that side. Get nervous. But yeah, uh, I don't know. Let's start off with um we're going to go through the bracket obviously later on if you've not joined the bracket uh it's a good chance to do that now it's completely free and we've got over i think 114 people now in our bracket which is pretty cool and Ooh. the women's one has only just opened so you'll be one of the first yes. people to get your bracket selections in to go for it and yeah. uh the winner of our bracket league will be giving away prizes for so there's a good incentive if there isn't if pride's not enough for you yeah <laughs> definitely mate for me Six. it's just the pride i just want to beat them That's i know I, need to do. I just want to at least get somewhere near close to the top but we're gonna have to take some risky decisions along the way in this draw uh and i think we're gonna see a lot of upsets in this women's draw i have to say i don't think it's just gonna be plain sailing for anybody on the women's side so i think we're gonna see some real interesting brackets from all of the uh, 114 entrants hopefully yeah, and like what we did with the men's, what we're going to do now is go through some of the notable matches. So I've made a little list here. I say little, it's quite long, actually. Let's see if yeah. it lets me yeah. uh, put this in the chat. <laughs> Massive. Little list, which uh, never seems to end. So there we go. This is some of the matches, first round matches, what I picked out and thought they're pretty crazy. It's the first one, Ostapenko, yeah. Mucheva, Putin, like Saver, Sloan, Stevens, Sakari, Mladenovic. It all depends what Madlenovic pull, uh, turns up. It could just be an easy one for Sakari, to be honest. Uh, but you never know. Mertens is playing really well now against the young Fernandez. Agel Jones. Yeah. Rogers. What do you think about that? You should, oh, reckon she'll be happy I, with I it? hate that draw for uh, Francesca Jones. Shelby Rogers has been looking really good this week. Really uh, frustrated when I saw that draw. But I'm just hoping, praying that she can like cause an upset there. Yeah. I would say probably the the toughest out of all of them, right there, Asaka. Yeah, Papadis that's Tinkova. a tricky one. Yeah, really tough that one. I wouldn't, I, she wouldn't have wanted to pick that. I bet there's so many other players she would have uh, preferred in the first round than Pavlyuchenkova. She's really, really good. So uh, yeah. I don't think, uh, I don't know. You can, could we see an upset in the first round? Could we? Is that, I wouldn't. I'm never shocked when I watch the yeah. uh, women's tennis. That's the it thing. could be where Osaka maybe loses um, the first set. You got uh, Casey uh, Bella there saying Osaka Pavs an ins insane round one. Yeah, for sure, it certainly is. Um, not sure how it's going to be, how it's going to play out, but you'd fancy Osaka to be able to do it. It just yeah, depends how she's playing. We've not seen her for a while, have we? Well, this is it. I mean. With Naomi Osaka, you just never know which one's going to turn up on the day. Uh, she's been great in recent times. Uh, last time she played Pavlichenkova was back in 2019, though. And uh, she beat her two uh, well, straight sets back then. And that was in that was actually in Osaka in Japan, I believe. <laughs> which is, uh, maybe that's why she did so well. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, different in the this this last time they played before that was actually in australia and then it was a closer affair 2-1 asaka winning again but uh pavlichenkova won their first ever meeting and it was two uh sets to love so but she's obviously got better asaka since then you'd expect asaka to win but number 39 in the world isn't really who you want to be picking out of the hat really for your first round draw yep uh, azarenka pagula 
I think she should be okay at Zarenka, but we saw she was a bit slow to get started the other day, wasn't Weird, she? Wasn't she it? Went four love down, then managed to claw back, win the first set. Then she got battered in the second set, lost 6-1, <laughs> yeah. and That's come cool. back right at the end. So yeah. Azarenka needs to be on it, but I'm pretty sure she will be. Uh, and then Coco goff Teekman. Again. Teichman, another one. That's, That's another the, one. And I think the last one as well is Kostuk Kudamatava. Them three there, for me, are the real, real tough first-round matches and uh, going to be exciting ones for sure. Yeah, how bizarre that Teichman and Goff have to play each other literally the week after they just played each other as well. They got yeah. drawn against each other in the last tournament and now they're doing it again. But Teichman, maybe she only just lost out. I remember it was two tie break sets in the final two sets and uh, she just lost 7-5 in the final tie break. This could go either way for yeah. me, this match. So uh, obviously there'd be a lot of people cheering on Coco Goff. They want the next generation of tennis to be uh, storming through. And uh, I have to sort of agree. I would like to see Coco Goff make a run in this tournament. It makes it more exciting. There's a lot at stake, though, isn't there now? This is a Grand Slam. We, we were talking the WTA 500 before. Now we're on the big stage, the Grand Slam. How's the nerves now for Coco Goff? Um, she's coming with such high regard. People mm. have bigged her up maybe too much, especially with her uh, running into Grand Slams in the past, notably Wimbledon. She could... It's a tricky first round draw for her. It's a shame that she didn't have someone maybe a bit easier to sort of uh, settle herself into this tournament. However, it could work in the opposite favour. Say she beats Tykeman, could fill yeah. her with confidence, and then she could go on to a bursting run and, and do something like really make history. Well, I hope so, mate. And we're gonna we'll be able to see uh her run to potentially the final, I'm sure, when we go through the draw. Uh, and we have make our selections, which is gonna be very exciting. This one I'm guessing oh, it's going to be very interesting who we're going to pick on all of these rounds because I reckon I'm going to get a lot wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I can say on this one. But you never know. Uh, and I think we've got some interesting maybe favourites and dark horses for this tournament. Yeah, definitely. So I've, I've prepared a few possible routes. I yeah. think we should start with Serena Williams because it's just Serena Williams. Uh, so let me get her one up quickly. Okay. One moment. Just pop that in the chat and share it. Nice one. Is it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah there, we there. there we go. There you go. So I clicked it as well. <laughs> so Serena Williams, possible route. Round one, Siegemund. Round two, Begu. Three, Risk. Four, this is where it gets tricky, Savalenka. A quarter final matchup with either Savontek or Halep. Maybe. Semi-final, Osaka, Muguruza, Andreescu, Kvitova. <laughs> and then a final of Barty, Kenin. Piscuff, I'm sorry, she's not getting that far. And Azarenka, I'd say more is a Barty <laughs> already, Kenin Azarenka. You already Piscuff ruled has the potential, but I just don't see her getting that far in the tournament. Um, but what do you make of that? For me, Siegeman, Begu, you, she should be fine there, right? Should she's be. playing okay. It wasn't Risk, bad, though. We know it's Risk good. can play. Risk can play some serious tennis when she's on. But I think Begu's even played the, well, quite well this week already. So I don't think that's even a given. And like, especially as Serena's uh, pulled out of the tournament. She pulled out of the match versus Ashley Barty. She's yeah. got a shoulder problem, apparently. So yeah. this is something where she really needs to get healed very fast because, uh, what have we got, three days uh, until it all kicks off. So I, I agree with Casey Belair, though, in the chat, saying I can't see her beating Sabalenka in top form, uh, even if she's... It, it, for me, if she by somehow makes it that far, then I don't see her getting past that round. It would be nice to see her do it, but um, it's not the worst draw in the world. She's got a nice little start, I think, but then from there, it just looks well, very tough. I was gonna, well, I was gonna disagree because I was gonna say that I thought Serena Williams, like I said in my, uh, I think it was in the predictions and stuff. The I thought she was going to do really well in this start of the year. Uh, yeah. It's just a and shame. That, you picked her to do well, didn't you? Yeah, I just shame that this uh, injury has now uh, come up. And now I'm sort of changing my mind a little bit. Obviously, with the age comes the injuries, comes the niggles. And this is just part and parcel of tennis and getting older, unfortunately. So hopefully she gets a match fit and she can get like deep into the tournament that's what i'm hoping but i'm going to change my selections it's made it's but ruffled my feathers a bit that one so i'm gonna to have to change a few picks now i think so i've got another route here so this is the world number one ashley barty and as you'd expect being world number one her draw isn't 
too bad, personally. I think it's quite a nice draw to have. So a first round, uh, Danka Kovin- Kovinic. Yeah. Uh, second round, Gav- Gavrilova or Soribes Tormo. Uh, Alex yeah. and Drove around three. Oof. And then it starts getting slightly more tricky. We have either Kontavi or Martic. But for me, I think she's okay up until this stage. Yeah. Bencic, Muchova, Mertens, Pliskova, quarterfinal. Even there, maybe Mertens, if she's really firing, could be tricky. In Australia, though, Ashley Barty. I think we're looking at, really, I think she can get to semi-finals pretty comfortably. And that's crazy for me. Um, yeah. I really do believe in it. However, with women's tennis, how many times have we thought someone's got a good draw it comes down to it, and there's a freak shock what happens early on. It's very, yeah. very possible. Um, so I can't really dig her up too much. However, on paper, her draw's not too bad. Yeah, she's sort of looked all right since she uh, came back, hasn't she? She's, uh, I think she's only played, what, four matches? I think she lost a Halop in, uh, in one match, and then uh, she's won all of her matches in Melbourne so far. So she's looking pretty good. She's obviously still coming back i mean it's not really you can't really look too much into her matches there she's going to raise her level i think one step uh higher on this uh grand slam stage i I think she's got a very good chance in this tournament i like that draw for her as well i think it looks yeah quite doable like you said i think semi-finals is tough but it's gonna be it's a grand slam you're not gonna ever get an easy even quarterfinals really i think she's quite fortunate with a quarterfinal being in australia but semi-finals ken in brady sakara azarenko or svitolina uh i think Alexandrova. i would worry about though to be honest she's one of these players who you saw she just battered halep like uh, a couple of days ago and straight sets easily uh she's the type of player who can turn it on in certain matches pretty scary player if she plays her uh, top form so i don't think she'll want to be playing her if she can avoid her and alexander ever go out beforehand i think she'd like that yeah and wilson says there barty uh won't face a grand slam champion until the semi-finals that's an easy draw well one good way of looking at it yeah so <laughs> the final one before we actually go on to the thing um i've got naomi osaka so let me get this one up Obviously, yeah. she's the girl who I tipped to be world number one at the end of the year on the women's side. Let's see what her thing. We've already spoke about her first round match being Pavla, Pavla Vachenkova, and that's a tricky one. Yes, so then it's the second round. She's got Hercog or Garcia. Ons Jabur, round three, potentially. Round four, Muguruza or Kerber. Quarter final of Kovitova, Andreescu. Semi final, Serena Halep, Fontek or Sabalenka. Final, if she gets that far, Barty oh, Kenin, Plisko or Azarenka. So, like as Osaka, on the other hand, she's got it all to do. If you compare this draw to, say, an Barty. actually Barty draw, it's a, it's a complete different thing, isn't it? Worlds apart, isn't it? I mean, look at the level of competition she's going to potentially have to face there and all uh, murderer's row of people there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say. They don't want to be facing any, though. Even people like Pavlyuchenkova, first round's horrible. Get, uh, I'd say the second round, she probably could take out both of those. Jabur, I wouldn't like Even still, her. though, Caroline Garcia, her yeah. cock, they're not... I don't know. I think it's a her, really tricky draw for her. Herber or Muguruza, I mean, they're both great. A Kvitova or Andreescu, come on. <laughs> I mean, Halep, <laughs> Stavontek, Sablenka or Serena Williams, mate. I think this is actually one of the toughest draws I've ever seen. No, it's horrendous. I don't know. Like, well, she's definitely uh, going to have to earn a, a Grand Slam. That, let's put it that way. But she's... on the plus side, yeah, like you say, if she gets all the way and wins it, she's certainly earned it. Uh, no one can really take that away from her. And then on the other plus side, we could see some amazing matches. I know Mary in the chat's put a Saka Andreescu quarterfinal. That is a very good possibility, and that would be amazing. Obviously, Asaka, both players have been injured of late, so we're not sure how they're going to play. Yeah, I hope but I would, I would Andrea. love to do that. We'd have to definitely do a, a live watch along for that one for sure. It's just frustrating. We haven't got, got to see more of Andreescu. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, in what sort of form she's in or anything. Yeah. I just would love to have seen so that we could actually know going into this tournament. It would be nice to know what form she's in. Yeah, I find yeah. it hard. I think I agree, mate. When we're going to go through this bracket, I don't really know where to put Andreescu based on the fact that we've not seen her. We've just seen that she entered the, the Grampians tournament last yes. week and then she pulled out of it. I so know. 
are you fit to play or not? That's the that's what I don't get it. That doesn't really make sense to me. So um, anyway, we'll, we'll get on with the draw and see where she ends up in it. Um, I believe it's gone live uh, about an hour ago, so we can put our selections in now, which is cool. Uh, yeah, like I, I said, if you've not joined the, the league, it's free to do. I'll put the link in the chat now. Uh, you can join us and, uh, and battle against me and Ben and everyone else in the GTL community to see how many correct selections you have for this, uh, this time the Women's Australian Open. And if you've not done the men's one, go check out our previous video where we, did, we covered all of the men's draw. And you can also enter that one too. Indeed, mate. Exciting. So, what right, should we? Uh, should we take it away? Because uh, yep. we know how long the men's one took <laughs> going down, and we're going to be doing it in little sections like we did in the men's. We're going to have like this little quartet. Of, yeah, little mini quartets. Yeah, just uh, do this little section of four ties. Uh, well, I'm going to start us off nice and easy. Nice and easy. I'm going to go Ashley Barty to go through. I think. And then uh, the next round, we got uh, Cerebos Tormo. I've been impressed with her. I don't think she's going to struggle against Gavrilova. This one I like. I like this match, but obviously I'm a big Krajikova fan. Uh, I'm going to back Krajikova against Zeng. And then this one, I'm going Alexandrova. Yeah, I've gone for the exact same four. And then I'm going <laughs> to have Barty to beat Tormo. Uh, Alexandrova to beat Tr- Krajikova. Yeah, and I then... think so as well. I know you're saying it's an, it's a tough one for Barty, and I kind of do agree, especially Alex and Jovis been playing all right recently. She shocked her hell up the other day. But I'm going to stick with Barty, and I'm going to go Barty yeah, sort of winning that little section. I think by the time she gets to that round, she's warmed up, and the crowd are warmed up as well. And uh, hopefully we're going and to get... Alex a... and Jova can have an off, ma- off match, for sure. She's definitely capable of that. Oh, for sure. I mean, I think she could upset a few people in this like, i wouldn't be surprised like imagine if she's able to get past ashley barty she actually has a decent draw remember because barty's yeah. side of the draw isn't too bad she gets past her you could see alexandrova make a run for the final or something something crazy like that but gonna stick i'm gonna be safe i know you're probably gonna get some boring comments but uh this is just the way it is. This one's an interesting one, though. We move down. Uh, Kontavit versus uh, Sasnovich, mate. That's a good one. Yep. Where I didn't you include that one, but it's one to talk about. Um, it's really tricky. I'll go first on this one, I guess. I'll go for Kontavit. I'm then going to back the Brits, and I'm going to go for Watson and Jones. Call me crazy. Um, it's probably more my heart than anything. It's going to be a big ask for Jones to beat Rogers. I just yeah. really want to see her do it, to be honest. So I do. I feel like it's better if I put her in there. I'm more willing. I'm probably more willing her on. And then Martic to make up the bottom. I think for, for Jones, that'll be her. She'll get through maybe that round. That'll be that. And then Heather Watson, Contevi. I'm going to go for Contevi as well. And then I'm going to have uh, Martic, actually. I'm going to have Martic heading that little uh, group there. I'm going to have Rogers uh, for, for my one there. Uh, and uh, yeah, for Contevi, Rogers will be a nice little one there to uh, decide on in a little bit when we come back. <laughs> and keep moving on Have down. You done that one, Ben. You need to do that, the next one, don't you? Hello. What do you want me to do? These the next one, the the deciders. Oh yeah, sorry, apologies. I haven't done. God, I thought I'm gonna go with Rogers, mate. Mm, fair enough. I know. We've both gone for whoever wins that that match. <laughs> yeah. So we moved down. We got Belinda Bencic against Lauren Davis. That's a good match as well. The, uh, potential uh for upsets here i think i might go for lauren davis mate okay let's just throw it out there i think there's going to be some upsets in this and don't yep. question my uh selections too much because i just think there's going to be some weird ones so who's your four then or what next one yeah the four. Oh, what the whole four this one oh, this is really tough i really like Layla fernandez and i wanted to go far in the competition because she's like a young rising talent Come on, let's go with a big upset first round. Leila Fernandez knocks out Elise Mertens. I'm going big on this one. I'm going to go, I'm going with the old school because Netsova goes through as well. And I'm going to go with Zoo here. I'm going to go with Fernandez. I'm going to have her making a run and because Netsova having a little run here. I want to see what you do. do uh, wait, before you do that, let me do my ones. Uh, and I've got uh, Benchich, because Netsova, uh, Zoo, and Mertens. I'm going to have Mertens to beat Zoo yeah. and then Bencic, actually, to beat Kuznetsova. 
fair enough. And then and I think with these he... women, you've got to be honest, it's very much <laughs> and I'm getting things, some things can change. Like anything, anything can happen. Marie, I you think could so. be calling Ben crazy, but anything can really happen. I know we say that in it's a sport and it could be the same for everything, but I feel like it's more prominent on the women's tour for sure. Oh, people are giving me some real I'm gonna be the bottom of the leaderboards. So I'm getting this in the men's side as well. <laughs> I'm just hoping that I prove you all wrong. I'm hoping I'm, I'm on the other hand, she's excited. She's saying I already picked everything and now I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, well, that's great to hear. Mary's normally up there at the top. And look at that. I've got some support. Finally, I picked Fernandez too. Come on, Mary. That's what we like to hear. So <laughs> I have head in mind Elise Mertens. I reckon she'll beat Ben Chich. That's what we like to hear. So we're going. Oh, yeah, I thought you'd probably go. You're a bit of a Mer Mertens fan. This one's an interesting one. Much of a Ostapenko. That can go really either way in my mind. Either way. Much of it will be the favourite, I reckon. I reckon she'll be the bookie's favourite. If not, maybe like completely 50-50, like nothing between them. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go Ostapenko, though, because I think if she just has one of those wild displays where she batters her off the court, it's either going to be a straight sets Ostapenko or straight sets Much of her. <laughs> you don't know which one it's going to be. <laughs> I'm going to go for Much of her because I think... Ostapenko, although she played really well the other day, she hit like something like 50 unforced errors or 40 unforced errors. I know she hits equal amount of winners as well, but I don't know. You can't know. keep doing that. You need to have a bit more of a... I love it. It's uh, exciting. It's exciting, <laughs> but it doesn't win you championships, mate. So are you, are you trying to say that she's going to be too much? Or, uh, yeah, know. that's what I'm, yeah. exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, dear. I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> How many times can I have that same joke? Right. The next I'm one go... I'm going to go for Chocoretto, the Italian. Yep. I'm then going to go for Daniel Collins. And the last one, I'm, oh, gosh, I could be really harsh on Pliskova, but I'm not going to be. I'm going to go for Pliskova. Yeah, I'm going to go for Pliskova. And then I'm, I think I'm going to go for Daniel. Uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, can't be not too quiet, cruel. No, no, I'm going to go. I mean, she's going to go through a little bit more. She could go out here, though. This could be the wildfire from <laughs> Ostapenko. She's like a loose cannon just firing all over. This. She's got like a submachine gun of the <laughs> tennis balls that go <laughs> all over the court. Uh, let's go Ostapenko, mate. I'm going mad. It's a good analogy. That's exactly what it's like, isn't it? It's just like a turret <laughs> on a tank. But just, um, <laughs> yes. It's just out of control. Like It's malfunctioning. <laughs> But then some of them fly in, and it's yeah. amazing winners. I love watching her play. It's great. So you've you gone for her to tip it. I'm actually going to go for Pliskova. I know it's going to shock you. Um, I just, I don't like as much as I think much of us good and all. I think Pliskova is just the level above all of them on that, on that little in. bracket there. Look at this, and we got a couple of Jackie in and Marie in, and uh, saying uh, Collins beating the Pliskova and then Ostapenko. Collins going all that way. I mean, Nat saying yeah. Collins beats Ostapenko. Wow. Yeah, Same. a lot of good praise there for Collins, and I wouldn't be too shocked if it happens. No, I wouldn't either. I think she's very, very good. But I'm, I'm trying not to give too much hate to Pliskova. I think we've given her a hard time too much, so I'm just going to give her a day off. <laughs> Sophia Kenin. Got to be, isn't it? Yeah, for me, it's Sophia Kenin. I'm then going to go for Kai Kanepi, the 35-year-old who's hit the form of her life, really playing some brilliant stuff right now. Obviously, recently knocked out Sabalenka. Uh, is on a really good unbeaten run. I think she's still in the Melbourne tournament, right? I don't think she's been knocked out yet. Yeah, yeah, she is, mate. Yeah, she's, so she's playing some about... incredible stuff. And she's on, a, like you say, a run of about, what, 15, is it? Yeah, about 15 matches unbeaten right now for, uh, yeah, for Kai Kanepi. A uh, really tough match if she comes up against uh, Sophia Kenin. That one, that one, I want to watch. Uh, the next, uh, this one here, I've got Podoroska for this one. Me personally, the one below is more interesting to me though, which we've got uh, Yafan Wang and Donna Vekic, who we know is in not very good form. She's on a six-match losing streak at the moment. Donna Vekic, uh, would it turn around for her here? Uh, Wang's on a three-match losing streak. I'm going to go with Vekic to turn it around. Yeah, I've got the exact same four. Um, but the ones after this is tricky. I'm going to go Podoroska oh. to beat Vekic. I think just the way she's been playing recently yeah, is crazy. So Last well. year, she's just been so good. And this top one, Oof, you know, I'm, I'm actually almost um, contemplating a big upset. I'm, I'm super close. I'm Do on the it. line. Oh, yeah. 
I'm on I, the line, but I'm not going to go for it. I'm going to go for Kennan and be very boring. Um, oh, but I think Kennan's going to... She's going to be under under the cost here. She could even have to save match points. It could be one of them type of matches, I think. You're, you're pushing me into a corner here and making me make some big calls. Uh, I don't even know if Kadepi's going to get past Seva Stover. That's the problem. Like, I, I think that they could, that's a really tough match for me. Seva Stover's not like... I, we shouldn't just assume that no. she's going to walk over uh, Seva Stover. Seva Stover is still a very good player, but it's just Kadepi is in good form. She beat Sabalenka. Uh, Mate, no one's been beating her. Just, I know. It's a tricky I'm, one. And Kenin, and got, she got bad, to be honest, the other day. Muguruza absolutely battered her. Stop trying to push me. What was it, like 6-2 yeah, something? Six for, I something. know what you're trying to do. I can see what you're trying to do. Mary's got to say, don't go in their bed. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, I'm not good. I can't do it. I can't do it. Kenin is the reigning champion. Come on. Think, yep. man. Come on. Be smart. <laughs> right. I'm going Kenin. I'm going Kenin. No, so you don't give her much chance against Podoroska then. Well, I'm saying she's going through against Podoroska. Yeah. All right, and I'm going to go yeah. for Kenin as well. Go on. I know. I'm so tempted to go Kanepi uh, though, mate. Yeah, yeah it'll be a good one to watch. Hopefully, we can uh, watch that one. I really want to go for Kanepi. I'm really like... Just do it she... then. This is your only chance. This is your chance right now. Jackie's saying go for it, Ben. You can't change you it afterwards, so you've got to go for it now. Uh... You'll be called the Messiah if you get it right. No, I or can't. An idiot it's the reigning wrong. champion, mate. You can't right, go against the reigning Let's champion. move on. The next quartet. So that's gone. Look, you... <laughs> it's so disrespectful to Sophia Kennan just to say she's going to go out to Kai Kanepi, the 35 year old wonder for 15 match unbeaten streak. Yeah, so any of the next ones, the bowls, the bowls yeah. of them. We used to like her, didn't we? I like um, bowls of her. She's very really good. But I'm going for Brady for me. I'm then going to go for. I don't know. Yeah. I might go for the Roddy and Ova. I always go against the Bringle. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. I just always do. It's a bit of a weird uh, thing I've got. No offence to her. I just always go against her. Then I'm going to go for Sheriff and Kaya Juvan. This is one we didn't speak about. Kaya Juvan, Joanna Conta. Mate, what that's could one happen of the ones. here? I'm actually going to go for Conta. Usually I would yeah. go for Juvan, but I reckon Conta's got her this time. Well, mate, uh, I, I'm worried about going for Sharif. Remember I bigged her up so much before the tournament and <laughs> she was <laughs> lost in the first match of the last tournament. But I think that she's stronger than uh, Chloe Paquet, so uh, or Paquet, or however you pronounce it. So I'm going to go with that. Yeah, <laughs> Mary hey, we're, we're in the chat there. Jackie's <laughs> saying boring. You can't be, we are being a bit no. boring. I think we're scared. We've got so many wrong in the past. Come when we on, go for these outsiders. But Kanepi, I, I agree. It's just there's something in there. I just really, I kind of want to do it as it well. Is. You only live once. <laughs> Rox is trying to, <laughs> trying to ruin my bracket, I think. Harry Carrillo wants to be up the top. I don't know, but I could see it happening, which is the crazy thing. I could see Kanepi. I'm going to go for Ooh. some crazy ones in a minute, I reckon. I'm going to go Conta here. I think Kai Yuvan could do it. But yeah, sorry, we need to complete this one. I'm going Brady. I'm going Conta. I'm going Brady. And I'm going to go Conta. Ooh. Something a bit unlike me. I don't. I'm not a big Conta fan. I think she's super inconsistent. But I'm just. I'm just backing her today. I don't know what it is. I feel like uh, Australian Open New Year. All new Conta, Brits, aren't you? You're yeah, I'm, with... I've gone. I'm going really hard on the British side, on the women's side, which is nice, I guess. As me Good with chain. my Dan Evans dark horse in the men's <laughs> side. <laughs> yeah, we're really flying the flag, aren't we? Mate, we're trying our best. We're trying our best. Here we go. Azarenka for me, she's looking great yeah. right now. This one's a weird one, but I'll go with Stoja. Uh, this one, yeah. Habino Sharma. This one's, I'll go with Habino. I know more about her. I've seen her play. I'm going to go for Sharma. Ooh. And then the I'm going to go cards. to Sakari with the power. She's going to follow it on. And then we're going to have Azarenka Sakari. I think Azarenka, to be honest, I think she's. She's solid. She can grind it out against these uh, power players. Yeah, I'm going to go exactly the same and back Azarenka Ooh, there. Casey Bella there saying Sakari playing really well late, lately. She beats Azarenka in three. That could possibly happen. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be too shocked, I must admit. No. Uh, moving down to the next lot. 
put in saver. Uh, slow. I'm going to go put in saver. I'm going to go for Clara Burrell, the qualifier. I'm going to go for Coco Goff. And I'm going to go for Svitolina. Yeah. Oh, this one I hate to pick. Uh, Bowskova. I'm slightly, I'm slightly biased because this Burrell girl, I'm really uh, a big fan of her. Yeah, well, I'm. I will pick her, but it's not because to copy you, just because I know that Van Utvank has not been playing well recently. That's yeah. the only reason. But I think she goes out to put in save her anyway. It's actually a good draw for her. I'm quite happy. Uh, Burrell managed to get her. <sighs> this one's a horrible draw, really, for Coco Goff, Teichman, and Svitolina. That's yeah. not going to be easy at yeah, all. Yeah, we didn't speak about her draw. But that's another tough one. Don't really see her going past Svitolina, to be honest. Uh. Let's, let's go for an upset. I'm going Coco Goff. Come on. Let's, I've got to take some risks, <laughs> but I reckon that's where the journey ends for her. I'm actually going to go for Coco Goff to head the oh, to, to win mate. it all and go is, go past that lot. I think I do it too often. It. Don't I? <laughs> you do it every tournament. <laughs> <laughs> every time Coco Goff's in one, she's in the final. It's like me True. with Kiri. Yeah, that's, I think that's a bit of an issue. If Coco's in the final, then I've done something wrong here. Yeah. Surprised I didn't have Kiri to win the USO, uh, the Australian <laughs> Open, rather. Uh, right, here's another interesting little bunch here. Oof, come on. It's got to be, isn't it? Andreescu, come on. I'm going Peronkova. This one's is quite interesting. Flipkins, Williams. Not sure how that go. I'm going to go Williams just out of respect. And I'm I think it's an, I think it's a no-brainer. I think Williams. She's still showing at her age how good she is. And I'm not picking Arani either. I refuse <laughs> to. So I'm going for Wang. Arani this out. One, that, that one could be quite close. I don't know about which Andreescu's uh, going to turn up yet. Yeah, I think now we've been faced with another predicament. I know we had the uh, Kai Kanafi one and uh, Kenin. I feel like this is another one for me. Andreescu Pironkova. Andreescu, we've not seen much of her. Pironkova, we know what we're going to kind of expect. I don't think she's going to turn up and not play well. In fact, yeah. I'm certain she's going to turn up at this, at this, this event this year. So that's kind of, for me, that's one player I know is going to turn up. Andreescu, I'm not not as sure, am I? So no. it's super tricky. Um, it's just a guesswork, isn't it? And I don't like the guesswork that goes into the, like these brackets sometimes, but you have to take a risk. We've taken some risks. There's going to be some upsets how do we even know Andreescu is going to make it even through the first match? She might pull out. I'm going Peronkova. Uh, I'm going to just go against you then. I'm going to go for Andreescu uh, more because I just want it to happen. I want it to else. happen as well. But, but then I want Peronkova. To be fair, I don't mind either. Whoever wins no, that I one, don't. I'll be cheering on. I'm cheering on the uh, yeah. I'm cheering on the the Bulgarian. But after that U.S. Open run, I well, I'll tell you what you're lover. doing. You're very biased. Obviously, your girlfriend's Bulgarian. You're in the <laughs> men's, you had Dimitrov <laughs> getting to the semi-finals. You got Peronkova here storming it, and you've got all the Brits going for her as well. So I know what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I've got her going through again here as well. Go on, Peronkova. Come on. <laughs> and I've got uh, Andreescu. I feel like once she gets past that little tricky bit there, I think she'll be if, okay. If. If. Yeah. Well, this could so, be a... Moving down. This is interesting. Von Drusova. We've been kind of slagging her off a little bit recently, saying she's not really done much since the French Open. She's doing very well. She's still in the event, I believe, in, in the quarterfinal or semifinals of, of one of the Melbourne tournaments. Yeah. So I'm actually going to go for I think she's going to continue that form. And I think she's going to beat Pettersson. Uh, these next ones, tricky. Marino, yeah. not the young player, obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is tricky. I would go with Marino, to be honest. Yeah, I'll go for Marino. I'm then going to go for Just Sir Steyer. Uh, is that four? No, one more. And then Kvitova. So then I'll have Kvitova beating Sir Steyer. I'll have Vondrasova win it. And then Kvitova head in that little pack. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's safe itself, to say. Mondra Sova, she just beat Podoroska, Zvonareva and Gracheva in the current tournament. So she's in good form right now. Um, Kvitova. Yeah, and Wilson there. Just something just to play in your mind a little bit, Ben. I'm playing a few mind games here, maybe. Wilson going. I just watched the Andreescu press conference. She seems really <laughs> confident. I don't want to hear it. She's Stop. super confident. She's playing the best tennis of her career. She's ready and raring to go. Mm, she doesn't have any match on the world. 
had no match play though. If you can't, you can't just you can't just walk back on a court, can you? And just like it's Andrescu be can. A, a bit of like racket rust, isn't there going to be? Not for Andrescu, mate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe Von Dressover, I think, maybe goes to against Kvitova. And Mary's saying Ben's doing everything right. I don't know what Mary's been watching. <laughs> Ben's well, lost the plot. Well, well, that's what some people think. But some people got that same mindset, mate. So we'll just wait and see when the draw uh, starts progressing. Yeah, and that's saying on. there, we can have an all-check affair there. Kvitova, Vondrasova. Yeah, love that. And I think Vondrasova will beat Kvitova. Wow, really? Yeah, I'm going to have Kvitova. I'm going to stick with Kvitova there. So they're moving down to the next four. I'll let you go first. Muguruza. Ooh, Badoza versus Samsonova. That's another one we'd have failed to mention as well, to be honest. Yeah. Badoza, Samsonova. I really like both players a lot. Uh, I'm going to go Badoza, I think, just because uh, she had a close match with Kudamentova recently, yeah. beat Adelise Cornet and Sevastova in, uh, was it Abu Dhabi? Mm. So, yeah, I'm going to go for Pedoza as well. I'm then going to go for Zdansek and Pera. I always go for, sure. but I'm going against her this time. I'm going for Kerber. Pera has been frustrating me a lot and she's not been winning the matches I've been predicting her to win. So, I'm going to go against her now. Yeah, I think she's got better form. They've like two sort of up and down uh, players here. What? You're going against Pera now? Yeah, against her. I'm going for <laughs> Kerber, which is very rare. She she's was my out. dark horse in the last tournament. And now she's... I've completely outed her. First round Australian Open in the bin. Out, out your good books, mate. What happened? I've got Kerber going all the way through here. But I think that's as far as she goes. I think Muguruza in this. Ah, so We've we got identical here then, Ben. Well, no, I've got a bad feeling. <laughs> if it's identical, it's definitely not happening. I <laughs> know. Uh, <laughs> that means we've cursed all of these players. <laughs> Next bit, a... Ons Jabur. That picks yeah. itself for me. Uh, I'm going to go for Smeil Smedalova. Uh, I'm gonna actually going to go for... I'm going to go for Caroline what, Garcia. Hibby? And no. then Osaka. No, no not like... Hibby for me. No. Mm, I don't know. I might go There's Hibby. only one Japanese player getting through this little uh, bit, and that's Osaka. i go Caroline Garcia. Oh, God, yeah. I think it's got to be Osaka for me. Uh, she's got to make the run. I've got Osaka going through here. I've got Jabur going through here. I got Jabur Asaka. You sure? Just have a little think about that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm just going. You just got to go with the gut on this. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Let's move down then. So we're almost there. I think we got about four left of these, or three Sab- left. Sabalenka versus Kuzma. Kuzmova. Is that is that a done deal, JG? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so as well. And so. call me crazy. I'm going for the Brit again. I'm going back to Katie <laughs> Bolter this time. <laughs> What's Come happened to Brit. you? Every Brit I've backed so far. You've, you've never backed a Brit in your life and you're suddenly back in. <laughs> she is exactly 300 places below Kasak... Yeah. Kas- I can't even... I can never say her name right. Daria Kasakina. Yeah. I'm going to go Kasakina. Sorry, Katie. Yeah, well, I don't know. I think Katie's got it, mate. The Brits, this, this is their year. This is their year. This is, our, this is our year, Ben. It might be. Imagine if they win the cup. They win both grand slams <laughs> with the best year ever oh well, yeah exactly nat saying yeah bolter took a set off osaka she actually she beat coco goff as well and Callen skyer but That's what i'm saying bolter's Ka- here to stay mate and she's gonna be doing it yeah but kasat skina she beat her cog and uh berzanescu and uh lost to kanepi unfortunately but kanepi mate she's the one <laughs> the one to watch kanepi yeah one to watch Oh, Anne Lee, mate. Anne Lee's back. What do we do with her? Uh, Anne, Lee's, Anne Lee's back and she's free for me. I think she's uh, one yeah. of the really young, promising talents on the on the American side as well. And then I see Lee as well beating Cornet. And then Sabalenka winning at the top. And then Sabalenka clearing that little bit up. Yeah, clear it up, Sab. You got the same? Yeah. So moving down, Risk, Potapova. Oh, that's a toughie. I'll go for risk based off what I've seen from from her in the past. Bonaventura has been terrible, really bad. She's been losing everything, uh, so I'm definitely not going for her. Bad boss, mate. You got to go for the bad. Yeah, I'll go for the bad boss because I think. Oh yeah, it's lucky loser as well. I, I was surprised she even qualified. She seems to always lose every time I watch her. 
I so know. I'm going for Barbos there. I'm going to go for Begu and Serena. Then Serena to beat Begu. And like we said, Serena's not got not a bad Stojanovic. draw here. I'm actually going to go for... No, not Stojanovic for me. I'm going to go Babos to beat Risk and then Williams to sort of win that little quartet. <sighs> well, that was like that. This is where it gets really tricky because I actually think the same. I think Williams, she was going to be one of my people that I had going quite far in the tournament if she was fit. I think she has the firepower to get past these people. I just don't know. When it gets to the next stage, I think I'm going to have to make some tough decisions. So go down to the next bracket. Yeah, just a shout out there. We've got Tweena, Tweena head in the chat there saying hey. uh, Kasat Kina isn't the same form as she was last year, but Bolter looks like she has momentum. Yeah, he's, he's cheering on the Brits as well. Hey, we love that it. from Tweena head. <laughs> and uh, we'll be seeing a little bit more of him later on today because he could be joining us, hopefully, for the live watch along we're going to be doing with, I forgot who it is now, Rublev. <laughs> 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 Rublev is playing well Struff. Russia's playing Germany and Rublev's playing Straff so that's going to be a good one hopefully as many of you can join us for that yeah so here we go we got Igor Savontek I've got to go with uh, Igor Igor yeah. to see her do well this one I'm going to go with Camila Georgi uh, this one's a bit tougher for me Fiona Ferro uh, I like her on the clay courts I'm not too not as convinced as yet of her on hard court and Siniakova I don't know. It's a tough one. I think I'm going to go with Pharaoh and Rybakina, but then that's as far as she goes. Rybakina goes through against Pharaoh. Ooh, that's tough. Savontek, and then that's even tougher. Uh, Rybakina didn't have too good a go of it, really, in the no. last tournament. I tipped but Neither did Savontek. No, I know. So both of them, it's their, t it's their chance to really find the form. And surprisingly, I'm going to go for Rybikina. I'm backing yeah. Rybikina to beat Savante. I'm doing the same, mate. We're not Call us crazy. A... I know, we probably are a bit crazy, but we we show our Kachu colours too much. We know who that we like and we go for them too often. That Rybikina's <laughs> been put to yeah. too many finals, I think. <laughs> she lets one. us down every time. but I know, but well, what, she, what can you do? She'll, get, she'll come good one day. So Kuda Mentova I've got going through against Kostyuk, even though I really like Kostyuk. Uh, Gracheva versus Blinkova. That's a tough one to call. Uh, not really sure I'll put my house on either of those players, but I'd probably go Gracheva. <laughs> I'm going for Blinkova. Yeah? Are you going yeah, for I feel like Blinkova, she's one of them I'll just go for when I see her. Oh, um, like she's let me down a lot, to be honest, with different selections over the over the past few years. But I'm going to go for Blinkova. Uh, then Kuda Matava. I'm going to go for Doi actually yeah, to beat Tom Lanham as well. And then Halep. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to have Halep, Kuda Mentova, and I'll have Halep to win that. And then Halep, so Halep wins that little bit for me as well. well. Yeah, we're doing the same. I don't know actually. Kuda Mentova, she could cause an upset. I think uh, if anybody could, she could. She's got all the ability. Don't forget, she's been uh, playing very, very well recently. She was. Didn't she play in uh, Abu? Was it in Abu Dhabi? She was playing pretty well. She lost to Sabalenka, didn't she, in the final? Who's this? Sorry, Kudamentova. Yeah, yeah, she got to the, all the way to the final, so she's certainly playing very well. Um, so I'm not that surprised that you've got her. And she lost to Anne beat. Lee in her last match. So do you have her uh, beating Halep or not? Nah, she lost to Anne Lee. She's ruined it for me. She lost to <laughs> Anne Lee, so unfortunately, uh, yeah, Halep for me. Uh, so. We've got Mary there asking, are we going to be watching the Medvedev match? Unfortunately, that one's a bit late, so we're not going to be doing <laughs> that. But we will be doing the Rublev one. So that's going to be really exciting. Obviously, the semi-finals now, the ATP Cup, Germany versus Russia. So anyway, let's get through now the nitty-gritty, nitty the end bit. Who's going to be going through? Is it the fourth round? Yeah, I mean, this one. Ooh. So we've got... First, second, third, fourth. This is the fourth round. Yeah, we got to decide our fourth round and who goes into the quarterfinals. Oh, I didn't mean to just click that just like that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to go to Ashley party. I was trying to... Uh, no, once get... it's in, you have, you have to keep it in. I was trying to get something off my screen and I could only do it by <laughs> clicking. I couldn't see the, what was on the screen. Right, I'm going to go Ashley Barty. I think she's going to... Uh... Beat Shelby Rogers. That's the end of the line for you, Shelby. You had a good run while it lasted. 
Who do you uh, have for this one? Yeah, I have, I have Ashley Barty versus Petra Martic, and I'm actually going for Barty to win that. The one below, Mertens Pliskova. I'm going to go for Mertens. Now okay. this is tricky. Barty versus Mertens. Who do I have? I'm on the verge of picking Elise Mertens. I'm very know. close, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go for Ashley Barty. This the Australian really... factor, that's the only thing. Can Ostapenko win that many games in a row? I'm just <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the bit you. This is the little segment you lost your mind. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm, I know. I think <laughs> Ostapenko wins the Australian Open. <laughs> according to Fed. Mate, we've seen stranger things in women's <laughs> tennis. Like Ostapenko, she is one of those ones who could go on a storming run for me and win the whole tournament. We know that she's got the ability. <laughs> So come and, on, then uh, who you pick it. I'll just see who you pick here. Come on, uh, she's. Uh, I'm gonna go Fernandez. <laughs> Fernandez wins. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the young Canadian wins the Australian Open. <laughs> no, in her That'd first nice. time. Is it a first time playing it? it? Must be. Well, uh, the only reason is because uh, Ostapenko's <laughs> only ever got through to the third round in Australian Open before uh, twice. She won the French Open, but that yeah, obviously uh, yeah, Jackie saying has won a slam. It's on clay though. That's the only reason that I'm uh, shying away from it. So I'm, yeah. and uh, she only ever got to the semi final at Wimbledon. So both of her hard court tournaments, Grand Slam, she's only ever got third round. So yeah. I'm not having her going any further than this. So I've got Fernandez there. Let's move on down. We've got Kenin and Brady. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Mate. And I've got for me Kenin Conta and uh, call me crazy. Conta wins. What? <laughs> <laughs> I am calling you crazy. <laughs> Mary Sky, I'm be calling you crazy too soon. Joella well. Conta is going to beat Sophia Kennan. Um, I'm not sure what's in the air right now in Britain, but I think I, th- I just don't know. I've got a feeling about it this year. <laughs> I think. Have you got a temperature? Are you feeling all right? <laughs> Mary said, I'm trying to confuse you. Mate, I'm, I'm, already, said, com- I'm already confused with this uh, women's. <laughs> picks so i've got Kenin you got Kenin? yeah i've got Kenin, and then this one i'm gonna go azarenka to knock out putin saver i've got coco goth and azarenka i'm gonna go for azarenka <laughs> really what not coco goth <laughs> well, we, could have had a, we could have had a con to goth <laughs> i don't think i can do two crazy ones in a row so <laughs> no i know this is how i was feeling you can only have so many you can only have so many until you just feel like you're an idiot yeah exactly i can't have kai Kanepi and uh peronkova and i can't <laughs> Wait, you don't just... have kai Kanepi though i know but i didn't this is your last it. chance ben do you want to go back and no, change no, kai I'm not. I... no because i've got kenin going <laughs> through <what's there. laughs> you could have had uh i could have kai Kanepi in the semis playing uh Conta. Mate. It's not too late if you want to go back and change it. No one can see your bracket. Everyone can see mine. This one's a tough one for me. Peronk of uh, Vondrasova. I'm going to go Vondrasova. Goes through here, though. I think she's going to make a run in this tournament. And I've got two different names altogether. I've got Kovita Varandrescu. And Ooh, like better, Wilson said earlier, <laughs> Andrescu, she's feeling it. She's confident. She's going to go all the way. And Wilson said Ben thought it was the wrong section. Ben's lost the plot. I don't know what he's drinking. But, I don't know. Um, maybe spill it all. I don't know how he's got Veronica or Vondras over there. But anyway, let's leave him to his own devices. Mate, I'm having a mare. It could happen. What's going, What's going on? I have been in control of this uh, mouse <laughs> cursor. So I've got Vondras over going uh, through there. This one. Oh, and this one. I might surprise you. I'm going Muguruza to beat Naomi Osaka. Yeah, you did. You did surprise me. Um, and I'm going to go for. I'm actually going to go for. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> you've confused me because you went first. If you didn't go first, I'd have gone Muguruza. I know, but this is what I mean. When you go first, now you've gone first. I don't want to pick the same as you, so I'm going to go Asaka. (laughs) Uh, This is the trouble when you're making all your picks, and I'm picking this. I've got the same four as you in all the uh, beginning, a lot of the beginning first one. So it makes it difficult to want to pick the same person. I want to get ahead of you in this bracket. I want to pick some ones that you don't pick. So I'm going to take some risks that you don't. You're well. (laughs) This one for me is fifty-fifty, but I'm just going based on Muguruza's form. 
I'm going to move back up. So we've got Muguruza versus Vondrasova. Is that the semi-final? And then Azarenka, Kenin. No, this is quarterfinals, isn't it? Apologies. Yeah, quarterfinals. <laughs> so the, so the, the bracket's so spread out when it gets to this stage. I can barely read it when it gets to this size. I have to anyway, just, like, Nats filled me with a bit of confidence, saying uh, Naomi can take out uh, Garbine for sure. So, yeah. And then you said Naomi is the best on the planet on her day. So there we go. I feel a lot more confident now. Naomi Osaka is my pick. Uh, and with that, I can't see that, Ben. So I'll have to trust you. I'm going to go right at the bottom now. I am. This is the top. Got... All right, you're going to the top. Yeah, Barty cool. so, Fernandez for me. Oh, I've already done this one. I've got Barty Burtons. No, yeah, Barty Mertens. And I've Who's got Burtons then. I don't think she's even in it. <laughs> like, you've got Kiki Burtons going through. It's a mouthful. I think I did say Burtons. But no, I've got Barty to win that. Yep, I've got Barty. We're really like banking on a Barty party, aren't we? Right here, I've got Conta Azarenka. Trying to Conta. Oh gosh, yeah. I'll go for Azarenka. I think this is the end of the line for Joanna Conta. Well. Mate, so we've got, the, we've got the same top, and then out of Barty Azarenka, I'm going to go for Ashley Barty. Back with I'm a bang. Not, I'm going to go for Victoria Azarenka. Okay. To make it through to her second uh, Grand Slam, well, her second hardcore Grand Slam final in a row. Yeah, and then Andreescu Osaka. I feel like osaka has got this far. She's going to do do the business, and I've got her then to win the next round. I think she's going to beat Andreescu. Who what? Who have you got? So you've got on your one Asaka. So I've, I've got, got Mug- Asaka versus Andreescu, and then Asaka okay. beats her. So basically, my semi-finals from the top. I'll tell you it is. We've got Ashley Barty facing Azarenka. Same as me. Um, and then the other semi-final is Asaka versus Halep. And winning that one to go into the final is going to be Asaka. (laughs) Why have I not picked this one yet? I'm going (laughs) Sabalenka. I'm going to have going through here. Actually, no, I I don't know how fit Williams is. No, no, I'm going to go safe (laughs) Sabalenka because I don't know if Williams is fit. And I'm going to go Halep because Rybikin is not there yet. This one, I'm going to go Sabalenka. She comes back to her form. And so you who's your that. final? Let tell me oh. your final. So my final I've just is going to be Muguruza is going to beat Sabalenka, and Muguruza is going to be playing Azarenka in the final. And I've gone for Barty to be playing. <laughs> Barty's in the final, and she's playing Naomi Osaka. So I'm pretty happy with that. They're two top players. Yes, I'm not sure how it's happened. I did not expect it to happen. I had Sabalenka all the way to win the tournament, so I'm not sure how she's not there. However, the way I can't lie with the draw, so that is my draw preview. That is my draw prediction, I should say. And saying that, the winner for me is going to be Naomi Osaka. I think she's going to start the year with a bang and win (laughs) the first Grand Slam of the year. Well, I'm going to go with the lady who was the runner-up last year. She uh, is looking to get that revenge back. And it's Galvinia Muguruza. She finally gets her just dessert. She should have possibly won it last year, but uh, uh, like a heroic performance from Sophia Kenin prevented her this year. She's going to do it. My pick is Galvinia Muguruza. Nice. And with that, we have completed... Uh, our draw for the women's side of the Australian Open 2021. <laughs> it was hard work. There's some funny selections in there, but we know what time it is, Ben. Now I'm going to ask you, who oh, is your no. dark horse this is for my the worst tournament? Uh, before bit. you do that, I'll just do a recap of mine. So my main pick, the girl I think is going to be winning this whole tournament is Naomi Osaka. And my dark horse, if you're going to let me have it as my dark horse, let me just outside double check. Outside the top 20. Because to it be. needs to be outside the top top 20 yeah uh one moment i've lost where it is oh i was gonna have juana conta but she's 13 yeah mate that's too, too good yeah mate she's she's up there mate i've got my one if you want to hear my yeah, you'd be doing yours then okay so my one uh <laughs> even though i've got a uh, poronkova going so far in the competition it's not her i'm going for alexandrova as my okay. dark horse 
Yeah, I like that. That's a good one, mate. Uh, and I'm going to have... This is really tough. You've put me on the spot, Ben. <laughs> no, mate. Well, what can you do? It's just one I'll of those I'll tell things. you then. I'm going to just go for it. My dark horse, Coco Goff. Oh, she is a dark horse, and I think she can do it and win the Australian Open. Um, uh, it would be mental, but I've got I've got her going all the way to the fourth round, third round. So if she can beat Azarenka somehow, she's there to play potentially a Conto in my final. So <laughs> if I think she can get that far, then why not? Why not go the extra distance and go all the way? I uh, Mary's saying, "Oh, JG, yeah." I thought you might go for a Maria Sakari. That was nice. She's nice number 20 there. Would have just... Uh, Too boring. Nice... It's like picking Djokovic to, to, uh, to win the men's, mate. Too predictable. Or Dan Evans. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There are picks. Let us know who your dark horse picks are as well. If you want to leave it yeah. in the live chat or just le- let us know in the comments uh, who your selections are. We always are interested to hear. Or we'll just have to find out when we look at your brackets, when we go through uh, some of these, when we have a few podcasts uh, in the next week. It's going to be a pretty exciting stuff, though. That's guaranteed in the women's draw. Yeah, shout out there to Thomas Rock for the super stick. And as you see, he's leading the top tips for February. We're five days in it. and he's storming it. If anyone wants to leave any tips, uh, you can do so through YouTube or there's a link in the description. Uh, we'll add your name for the next podcast and you'll be there for everyone to see as one of the top GTLers. We'll also be recording the top tippers of every month to go alongside the winners of every draw challenge we have. Um, and like I said, we'll be making a, a big mention to all the wi- all the winners really in that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's going to be a very exciting uh, Australian Open. We're going to, well... JG is going to be back uh, very shortly, bringing you uh, the ATP Cup semi-finals, I believe, uh, between Germany and uh, who is it? Germany Russia. and Russia, isn't it? Yeah, Rublev's playing, so that's going to be an exciting one. If I can nip in at some point, I might try and do so. But uh, I think you're going to be joined by a uh, uh, Phil from Tweenerhead, possibly, aren't you? So that's going to be an exciting one. And uh, yeah, other than that. We'll probably just do a podcast to wrap up everything very shortly, just before the, all the tournament, the Australian Open starts. And then it's poof, 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 after the races and we'll have to decide on which matches we're going to cover and you guys can help us decide. So don't forget, we are obviously sponsored by BetUS. Uh, it's always uh, good to help the channel out. And if you want to help us out, then sign up to BetUS today. Uh, if you sign up, you can get 125% bonus. Uh, so if you do that, it would really help out the channel. And you could win yourself a little bit of extra cash on the Australian Open. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Osaka's a good odds as well. So jump on her uh, to win the Australian <laughs> Open this year. Or if you're feeling crazy, maybe go on for Joanna Conti. You get even better odds. Yeah, mate. There's some very, very crazy odds out there, especially on the women's side. So maybe Alex Androva, mate. She's yeah, probably... I feel like we could see we could see something crazy happen this year with the Australian Open and the women's. Um, it's not as concrete as the men's for me, and I think what? it's open to a lot more players. I heard. Uh, I think earlier on today, I think Sabalenka's odds dropped massively after her performances in the tournament this week. So she could be one. A stock dropped a little bit. Maybe time to just get yourself in there whilst the while she's low on the old stocks. Yeah. And she's gonna maybe boom once she's gone through the first few rounds. So But what do we know, eh? What do we know? <laughs> <laughs> what do we know? Denzel said, Are we going live in an hour? Yes, we are for Rublev. Let's see how he's gonna get on. Hopefully Jackie's gonna be there. I'll have the Russian flag ready and we'll see how that one goes. But for now. Uh, we'll leave it there. If you've not already, please like the video. If you've not watched the men's draw, check out the other video. I think it's pinned on our, on, our, uh, on the channel, the YouTube channel. Yep. Um, so, yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and hopefully I'll see as many of you as possible in about an hour's time. Indeed. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>